Zeal is a volcano, the peak of which the grass of indecisiveness does not grow. Out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. In the sweetness of friendship let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures. For in the dew of little things the heart finds its morning and is refreshed. Life without love is like a tree without blossoms or fruit. Trust in dreams, for in them is hidden the gate to eternity. I have learned silence from the talkative, toleration from the intolerant, and kindness from the unkind, yet, strange. I am ungrateful to those teachers. If you love somebody, let them go, for if they return, they were always yours, and if they don't, they never were. Your living is determined not so much by what life brings to you, as by the attitude you bring to life, not so much by what happens to you as by the way your mind looks at what happens. Forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet, and the winds long to play with your hair. Beauty is eternity gazing at itself in a mirror. The eye of a human being is a microscope, which makes the world seem bigger than it really is. Yesterday is but today's memory, and tomorrow is today's dream. We choose our joys and sorrows long before we experience them. Progress lies not in enhancing what is, but in advancing toward what will be. March on, do not tarry. To go forward is to move toward perfection, march on, and fear not the thorns, or the sharp stones on life's path. And ever has it been known that love knows not its own depth, until the hour of separation. Your pain is the breaking of the shell, that encloses your understanding. Life without liberty is like a body without spirit. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another but make not a bond of love, let it rather be a moving sea. Between the shores of your souls, Friendship is always a sweet responsibility, never an opportunity. Generosity is giving more than you can, and pride is taking less than you need. Faith is an oasis in the heart which will never be reached, by the caravan of thinking. You are the boughs from which your children, as living arrows are sent forth. If you reveal your secrets to the wind, you should not blame the wind for revealing them to the trees. There are those who give with joy, and that joy is their reward. The teacher who is indeed wise, does not bid you to enter the house of his wisdom, but rather leads you to the threshold of your mind. Wisdom ceases to be wisdom when it becomes too proud to weep, too grave to laugh, and too selfish to seek other than itself. For life and death are one, even as the river and the sea are one. When you are sorrowful look again in your heart, and you shall see that in truth you are weeping for that which has been your delight. If your heart is a volcano, how shall you expect flowers to bloom? Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They came through you but not from you and though they are with you yet they belong not to you. A friend who is far away is sometimes much nearer than one who is at hand. Is not the mountain far more inspiring and more clearly visible to one passing through the valley than to those who inhabit the mountain? Work is love made visible, and if you cannot work with love but only with distaste, it is better that you should leave your work and sit at the gate of the temple, and take alms of those who work with joy. Truth is a deep kindness that teaches us to be content in our everyday life and share with the people the same happiness. I love you when you bow in your mosque, kneel in your temple, pray in your church, for you and I are sons of one religion, and it is the spirit. Doubt is a pain to lonely to know that faith is his twin brother. Faith is a knowledge within the heart, beyond the reach of proof. The lust for comfort, that stealthy thing that enters the house a guest, and then becomes a host, and then a master. And forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet, and the winds long to play with your hair. Safeguarding the rights of others is the most noble, 
and beautiful end of a human being. Keep me away from the wisdom which does not cry, the philosophy which does not laugh and the greatness which does not bow before children. A little knowledge that acts is worth infinitely more than much knowledge that is idle. If in the twilight of memory we should meet once more, we shall speak again together and you shall sing to me a deeper song. Sadness is but a wall between two gardens. Only when you drink from the river of silence shall you indeed sing, and when you have reached the mountain top, then you shall begin to climb. And when the earth shall claim your limbs, then shall you truly dance. Knowledge of the self is the mother of all knowledge. So it is incumbent on me to know myself, to know it completely, to know its minutiae, its characteristics, its subtleties, and its very atoms. Poetry is a deal of joy and pain and wonder, with a dash of the dictionary. I prefer to be a dreamer among the humblest, with visions to be realized, than lord among those without dreams and desires. Perplexity is the beginning of knowledge. To be able to look back upon one's life in satisfaction is to live twice. I wash my hands of those who imagine chattering to be knowledge, silence to be ignorance and affection to be art. When you are joyous, look deep into your heart and you shall find it is only that which has given you sorrow. That is giving you joy. When you are sorrowful look again in your heart, and you shall see that in truth you are weeping for that which has been your delight. Love and doubt have never been on speaking terms. Love is trembling happiness. Love possesses not nor will it be possessed. For love is sufficient unto love. Yesterday we obeyed kings and bent our necks before emperors. But today we kneel only to truth, follow only beauty, and obey only love. The most pitiful among men is he who turns his dreams into silver and gold. Rebellion without truth is like spring in a bleak, arid desert. Time has been transformed, and we have changed. It has advanced and set us in motion, it has unveiled its face, inspiring us with bewilderment and exhilaration. Your daily life is your temple and your religion. When you enter into it, take with you your all. Khalil Gibran was a Lebanese-American poet, writer, and artist. He was born on January 6, 1883, in Mshari, Lebanon, and passed away on April 10, 1931. Gibran is best known for his book The Prophet, which is a collection of philosophical and spiritual essays. The Prophet explores various aspects of life, including love, marriage, children, work, and death. It has been widely translated and has gained a global following for its lyrical prose and profound insights. Gibran's writings often reflect themes of love, spirituality, and the human condition. Beyond his literary works, Gibran was also an accomplished visual artist, creating paintings and drawings that reflected his poetic sensibilities. His works continue to be celebrated for their depth of emotion and artistic expression. Khalil Gibran's contributions to literature and art have left a lasting impact, inspiring readers and artists around the world. His profound thoughts and beautiful imagery continue to resonate with audiences, making him one of the most beloved and influential writers of the 20th century.